the idea that waste isn't waste, but it's a resource, is, it just it's, it speaks so strong in my heart. Um, and that waste can become something that is valued and cared for and used to make our lives better, is, it just makes so much sense. For me, that's the inspiration of this project, to show that we can have a better life and also protect our environment and our health. In the Middle East, many rural communities suffer from a lack of municipal services such as waste management and energy provision. Without access to such services, off-grid communities struggle to find a sustainable energy source and to properly dispose of their animal waste. The Aravar Institute for Environmental Studies is using biogas technology to help address these needs in underserved communities in Israel's Bedouin community, Palestine and Jordan. There's a few goals here. Uh, first of all, um, is to help people. Um, help people to have a healthier and cleaner environment. Uh, so the biogas system uh, actually is a place for them to throw their waste, their animal waste, their food waste. Before that, if you can uh, see, they throw away the animal manure into the river uh, or burn it, uh, because today the herds here don't herd anymore in the fields, they stay in one place. So they have piles and piles of manure, so they burn it and it makes a lot of smoke and sometimes even children get burned from it. So there's another uh, way to use the manure and to reuse it. Uh, now they have a place to throw it in, it helps them maintain their environment and also of course helps them have uh, clean gas uh, for free. The Institute's involvement with uh, biogas technology uh, goes back uh, at least, I would say, 10, maybe 11 years. Um, originally, uh, uh, the interest uh, got started with one of our students, a woman named Ilana Mualam, uh, who chose to study uh, the Bedouin communities and to look into their, uh, their uh, uh, challenges that they face, especially in different areas of sustainability. There are so many people across Israel, across the West Bank, Bedouins, Palestinians, who don't have access and where biogas can be um, a, a real tool to improve their lives and the environment and the health of their families and communities. It was such an obvious solution um, take something that is causing problems, that is considered waste, but actually see it as a resource. Elana Muellam initiated the biogas project during her studies at the Aravar Institute. Over the years, the work has expanded and another alumnus, Yair Teller, improved the technology to better meet the needs of underserved rural communities in the Middle East. Yair Teller established Home Biogas, which creates standalone biodigester units. Home Biogas is a private company that continues to cooperate with the Aravar Institute on Biogas Technology Research and project implementation at the Aravar Center for Sustainable Development. Together, they aim to distribute this technology throughout Israel's central Negev, the West Bank and Jordan. You take domestic waste or animal waste, you mix it together with water in certain combination and you get an anaerobic process and by which after a few days you get several products. One of them is gas, mostly methane gas, which can use for energy, different energy uses like heating, sometimes electricity, cooking and so on. You get the ability to produce compost, which is used as a fertilizer, solid, more solid fertilizers, also liquid fertilizers that you can use as well. So overall, uh, you can get uh, several benefits uh, from its use. Of course, the, the major one is the, is the methane gas, which is used for energy. Baruch Hashem, I have today, I have gas, I have biogas in my house, I'm not אני יכול להסתובב בארץ, לא דואג לגז בבית, האישה מבסוטה, יש לה גז, יש לה מה לבשל, וזה עוזר לה. 
والله هذا كويس ريحنا كثير ريحنا سرنا بنشتغل عليه يوم بخلص الغاز ما بنرتبع انه خلص الغاز بنقول فيه يعني فرق. كويس ون... بنقول للجيران يعني انه كويس هذا بنقول لهم اه كويس الغاز يعني بنحط فيه كل حاجه الحين ما حتى اول كنا بنقرطه في القاعه الحين بنحطه في الغاز Family as a whole can see a good profit in it, and I can tell you that in, in several places, the women and the children are involved, and like in the Bedouin communities, it increases the, the position of the uh, women in the family, and uh, they are quite satisfied. Uh, it adds to the uh, positive thinking of uh, cleaning the environment and helping the global environment at the same time. So whenever you look at it, biogas is socially, environmentally, technically, uh, politically, it is all uh, with positive impacts. The biogas project is just one example of the inspiring transboundary work being done at the Aravar Institute and by its alumni. No other program allows students from such varied political, cultural and religious backgrounds to live, study and learn about one another for a semester or more. In this multicultural setting, students form connections and develop skills that enable them to lead their communities in addressing today's most pressing environmental challenges. The Aravai Institute was founded in 1996 in order to build bridges between peoples in the region. We bring Jews and Arabs together, Israelis, Palestinians and Jordanians, and international students in order to teach that nature knows no borders. The Aravai Institute uses the, the environment as a tool to uh, connect people, to bring them together. It provides them the, uh, let's say, the background, it provides them the the support to uh, work together to solve the region's environmental, uh, environmental problem. Being part of the Oslo negotiations uh, in a team working under the environmental protocol, I had the chance to meet a number of uh, Israeli personnel who were uh, at some stage or even right now involved in Arava. That gives me more understanding of the role that Arafa is doing and the potential help and assistance that they can provide not only to Israelis or Palestinians but to the region and the uh, overall uh, positive impact that they can have on the regional environment and the potential for peace building through student-to-student uh, -student cooperation and community-to-community -community cooperation uh, under different names of cooperation in the field of the environment. In every place we work, we're part of the people and, and we know the people. And this is the most important part, I think, and also this is what the Arva Institute wants, that uh, to send out the alumni and that they go and do projects and be part of the people and help the people from the bottom and, and the relationship that is built, the trust that is built, breaking bread together, having meals together and laughing together, uh, coming in, in to, to weddings. And this is the most important part. This is the most important part uh, that I got from the Arva Institute uh, and I think this is part of the goal of uh, the Arva Institute. You know, all the time they really cared and that, for, for me that's what touches me about the Arava Institute. Beyond the Palestinian, uh, Jordanian, Israeli, international work, it's really that they believe in doing things that create a change. The support of the biogas project from institutional and private donors has made a tremendous difference to the beneficiaries. In order to dramatically scale the project to serve more communities in need, as well as refine the technology into an integrated system using solar energy and recycled water, more support is needed. Uh, our aim in the near future is to develop the integrated combined system using both uh, recycled water a solar energy and the biogas together. The recycled water will be put into the biogas system together with the waste and we can use solar energy um, replacing the head mi hand mixing uh, of the two components. This way you can facilitate the operation and after a few days you will get the biogas to serve as source of energy and also the, the fertilizers. This is small seed for the small region and probably it will become a tree or plant that will be an example for the, for the wider region. 
as I said, this region is, is unstable. Uh, we don't have the security of, uh, of supply almost for, for everything, for water, for energy, for food. So it's very important to keep such institutions working to have a, or to work toward a sustainable uh, future. Thank you.